Hello everyone, my name is Michelle. Welcome back to Igrasil, my nymphs. Today I am so excited because I'm going to be interviewing different systems about their experiences with DID and how us singlets can properly address and communicate with systems. If you're a system, I would love to hear what you have to say if you have a differing experience. Obviously every system will have a different experience, so I would love to hear your down below or message me on Instagram if you ever want to be in a future video anonymously or anonymously. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, turn the bell on if you're feeling risky, comment below how you feel about this situation. Did you learn anything singlets? <laughs> I definitely did, it's insane. I'm really happy I did this video because it was knowledge for everybody, but it's also, it's knowledge for me. Thank you so much to each and every one of my members. I appreciate each and every one of you every single day. Make sure to consider becoming a member. It starts at 99 cents. You get early access to my videos. You get to pick my videos and many more other perks. Thank you so much for watching this video as always and enjoy. I think that it is rude to just come into a chat and ask who's fronting um, only because it doesn't matter who's fronting. Um, in reality, we're all the same person. And when you're interacting with us, with see, I don't even like saying us, when you're interacting with any part of my personality, you are interacting with me. I do think it's rude to ask who's fronting. If it's a friend, who's asking or a, a close friend who's asking um, that's different. Also, if this, the situation is different. If there's a strong opinion being held and you want some clarification on what part of my personality holds that belief, then you can ask. Like in that, that situation. Thank you so much for collabing with me, Ginger B, and for starting us out. An anonymous system says that they don't generally mind if people ask who's out, but it depends on how it is asked. For example, if someone says it politely, it's less likely to irk whoever is out in front. Also, if the alter doesn't want to say who they are, it would annoy the system if the person kept asking and asking after they said that they don't want to say. Although usually the ones who don't want to answer will just say quote unquote me and that tends to be a clear sign to leave it alone although people may still try to pry afterwards in which case we would try to say I would rather not say or sometimes even switch back inside because what they said would be too uncomfortable. The cow system says that it often comes from a well-meaning place to ask who's out. It's sometimes a challenge working out if a person is asking because they genuinely want to understand, if they are asking as a friend because they care, or if they are treating it like some weird sideshow because it's weird. But also, Cow System thinks that K-A-O, not C-O-W, I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing you wrong, it's the way that things can be approached in a respectful way. Like, you would approach a friend who is visibly suffering from something or obviously upset, asking, are you alright? How can I help? How can I support you? Right now. The relationship bias is real. Those family or friends you let get away with things because of some weird underlying reason. The alternative perspective system says that they feel like this varies from system to system in preference when being asked who's out. The alternative perspective system says that they personally don't mind people asking, but they prefer to be asked by people who they care about. They have a really bad habit of masking around people and it upsets them, so other people asking tends to jolt us out of that. The point in my recovery, in my years of therapy, that I have reached functional multiplicity, and with functional multiplicity comes being uncomfortable and being unsettled by separating those parts of myself that have worked so hard to basically blur the lines and to kind of meld together and blend together like 
it just it's, it's the second somebody asks me who's fronting I think about who's fronting and that creates those barriers and that separation again it causes unnecessary switches and then those switches bring you know it just it's just I don't think it's polite I have no idea who is fronting um, until I am able to notice characteristics about myself the way that I hold my face a lot of the time is it's in my face I can see it and I can feel it in my facial muscles the way that I'm speaking like it has to be something that I can experience with my senses um, it's not something that I just know in my head. The alternative perspective system says that they can sometimes tell who's out. There are different types of switches. For us, we can have five, I can explain. One, the informed switch, where the alter has asked to front and we've said yes. We'd know who's fronting. The second is the protective switch, when a protector barges into the front and locks the system down to protect us. We typically know who's fronting, but slim chance we wouldn't. Normally protectors lurk in co before pushing through so they don't overreact. Three, the little front trigger switch. We've normally seen a cute animal that's a front trigger, then a little comes out and yells the animal's name if appropriate. If it's not, then we appear super shy and quiet for a few minutes, watch it for a while, and then go back inside. We'd know who's front for three, four, the F this I'm out switch. <laughs> the altar at front just leaving without a plan of who's replacing them. We just end up super blurry and don't know who's front and have to play guess for ourselves. Five, the covert switch. We are going about our day and no noticeable switch has happened, but something will rub us the wrong way for the altar we think we are. And it's like, what? Who the F am I? And when did that happen? Then we have to play guess who with ourselves. <laughs> covert switches really mess us up because we are a self control freak. Oh god, I'm sorry, alternative perspective system. Make sure to sub. An anonymous system says that no, a few of our alters do know when they are in, but usually there is a foggy mess and it takes a little while to ascertain who you are, especially when waking up in the morning. Even then, we can speak and be surprised by our accent. Usually, in the case of not knowing, we will call ourselves a squish or a bloody mess and just leave it at that. That is beautiful until one of us works out who we are. Cow system says that they rarely know. It's meant to be an unnoticed disorder. We have to function and navigate day-to-day -day life safely. We, generally speaking, find it easier to identify the changes when looking back, but at the time, it isn't so obvious who is out. The best example being switches at work. Okay, so we're indie. Really, India is the name of the body and stuff. That's what the IRL world would say to address us, but Jack is the main host and mostly out at work. Eros will straight up pretend to be Jack when out, but there are tells, I guess. From the outside, as a collage looking, I imagine it's just, oh, India isn't singing today, when it might be that Eros is out and just isn't the kind to be singing while scrubbing the toilet, to be honest, <laughs> even while putting up a everything is as it was front. Another system says that they have no idea who is out most of the time. Fair. <laughs> this system has to wait until they notice the characteristics or how they feel internally because alters can overlap or be co-conscious. It's not a perfect system, no pun intended, but you can confuse their characteristics and mix them together if two alters are around at the same time. So it's really hard to know. For this system, sometimes it takes a little while and sometimes they never know who is out. However, there are certain alters that they do know who's out right away, which I've heard with a lot of systems, because they are mainly out or they have definite characteristics. As for being referred to as you all, or saying us, or we, or any of that terminology is very off-putting to me. It's off-putting to me, not only for myself, but for talking with other systems as well. It just, for me, is off-putting because it puts that separation between what is helpful and what is harmful. Sometimes it can be helpful to 
separate those parts. Like in therapy, for example, um, my therapist says, how are you all? I asked him to stop because it, it did start to make me uncomfortable. As therapy went on, in the very beginning of my diagnosis, I felt so much more separate. I felt like these parts were 100% their own people. Like it felt very different than functional multiplicity feels now for me. And that changed. So, you know, I think that there, I think that that saying you all and us and we and using those types of terms is helpful to a certain extent and in certain situations. But I do not think that 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 should be the way that a system is spoken to all the time um, just for their own healing journey. Uh, but that's my opinion and everyone's different as everybody loves to say now if i'm talking to the community and i'm speaking about a part of my personality like if, like if i'm speaking about obviously it's a little bit difficult for me to talk about my parts being separate right now but like if there is a part that is fronting that's being a bully and i'm you know i'm saying oh he did this or they did this or she did that or whatever like that's different using it as a way to like explain situations to explain the way that you are experiencing life versus just a way to explain you as a person as a whole like that to me is just stepping away and pushing away functional multiplicity and everything that somebody with dissociative identity disorder needs to do in order to to heal to move forward and to be a functional member of society and i'm going to end this by saying something that might be a little bit controversial and again i i, I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings or make anybody uncomfortable but when i interact with somebody online and i see them specifically only use we um instead of I or, you know, speaking in the third person for every situation, I, I, I find that off-putting and it makes me feel like that person wants to be that way. When I see people using that language, it makes me feel like they are wanting to be acknowledged by the world as a system or as a multiple person which like system pride whatever again that's a whole nother conversation system pride and having pride and being multiple i have reached a point in my recovery in my years of therapy that i have reached functional multiplicity and with functional multiplicity comes being uncomfortable and being unsettled by separating those parts of myself that have worked so hard to basically blur the lines and to kind of meld together and blend together. Like, it, it just, it's, it's the second somebody asks me who's fronting, I think about who's fronting, and that creates those barriers and that separation again. It causes unnecessary switches. And then those switches bring, you know, it just, it's just, I don't think it's polite. Thank you so much, Ginger B, for your opinion. Everyone make sure to follow them on Instagram. Other systems say that, honestly, they're not sure about the whole situation. One system says, in real life, call me you, call me me, because it's the most normal thing that happens. It could be so that online people exaggerate things and focus on details that they might not focus on in day-to-day -day life. So in real life, just say, hey, how are you doing? You could even say, do you want me to call you you or they or what or what? Another anonymous system says it really depends on the system or the alter who is fronting. Our system is okay with being referred to as an all but not being referred to as one name collectively. We would prefer the system name is having to be referred to as collectively, i.e. how are you is fine, but it's also very hard to answer because one alter 
realtor might be losing their mind and another is happy and another is sad, etc. So we would tend to just answer that we are fine, although that would not be entirely true. If it's a generally polite question as a greeting, I would say I wouldn't have a problem with it, but each alter likes to be acknowledged. So we would prefer, how are you individually? It feels good to be spoken to and cared about as we haven't had a lot of that in our life. Another anonymous system says that they don't know how other systems feel about being addressed and it probably varies. We've never given it any thought until now. I didn't know about the healthy answer. I like both, but that might be coming from the place of a disorder. I feel like we are parts of a whole and it should be addressed as a whole unless the person asking is a part of that greater circle of trust, like online using the system Instagram page versus the spirit keeping or personal page and we use all that and we use other accounts on YouTube and it can be kind of chaotic. Finally, the alternative perspective system says that it's honestly either, we don't care, but normally that would be a question for a closer friend and if something is messing up in the system, then we tell them off our own backs. All right, there is a section about dissociated and they did answer, but I kind of want to leave this for its own separate video because this is more about how to genuinely interact with an individual with DID. Thank you so much to all of the systems who participated in today's video. Your opinion is valid, your experiences are valid, no matter if you were or weren't in this video. But contributing to this video is gonna hopefully really help a lot of us singlets understand how to properly address the DID community because I've always been super awkward about it. I'm like, do I refer to you as you or them or whatever? Thank you to Distressed Damsel and all of my other friends. I thank you so much, you guys, seriously. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, turn the bell on if you're feeling risky, subscribe to my collab people, partners, <laughs> and Ginger B. Thank you so much to each and every one of my members. I appreciate each and every one of you ever so much. Make sure to consider becoming a member. It starts at 99 cents. You get early access to my videos. You get to pick my videos and many more other perks. Thank you so much for watching this video as always and goodbye.